man, is this gonna let me do this? It isn't. Game? Uh-oh. Ouch! <laughs> that wasn't what I wanted to do! Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're gonna go uh, down back to the mine uh, and do a little bit more mining to make a little bit more iron so we can make a few more <clears throat> of the iron storages. Uh, you guys pointed out to me in the comments that it tells, uh, well, first of all, the, the large iron storage gives, um, can we make these now? Oh, we can, we can make the elevators. We just need a whole mess of resources. Okay. That's cool. Good to know. Uh, but anyway, you said the iron storage, it tells us what the, the capacity is. Uh, so the steel is 192 and the iron is the large iron storage is 128 wherever the heck that is uh, all right hold on a second why am I not seeing it large steel storage iron storage okay yeah so it, it tells us right here that it's 128 slots um, and it also tells us if we just select it it tells us that there so great so I'd like to make at least uh, three more of those. We have a total of four to get started. Um, so I'm going to go down into the mine and uh, mine up enough iron to make three more of those. Uh, are we going to need... Oh yeah, we're going to need some more iron rebar too. We should be able to probably make the bolts. We should be fine on the wire, the screens, the circuit boards, and the springs. So yeah, we just need more iron. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to work on that. And then depending upon how our time goes, I'd like to maybe see if we can start working on our, our bale drop uh, in this episode too. So anyway, I'm going to head down to the mine, cut the camera here, head down to the mine, and I'll bring you guys, uh, well, let's break our leg first because that's what you do before you go down and mine in your mine is you break your leg. Doggone it. Son of a beech nut. Ugh. All right. <laughs> That's not what I actually meant to do. Um, I'm going to go down to the mine, mine enough iron to get that stuff done. I'll bring you guys back uh, when I'm finished with that, and then we will proceed from there. So see you in just a bit. All right, guys, we're back. Had a screamer uh, calling a little hard here on us, so we're just dealing with them. Off with your head. Looks like we didn't get to that other one in time before they got up here. Hold still, Arlene. Hey! Cut that out. Yeah, that's a pretty good sized little horde. Is that it? so i think that's it okay so roberta the robotic drone and myself are filled up with iron ore and uh, i also took a steroid so i could carry just a little bit more as well roberta where'd you go here well let's offload what we currently have um no not in there in here Want that to go in there. And let's make iron ingots out of that much. Uh, like I said, Roberta's got another load on her, too. Uh, Alright, we're gonna put the stone in there and the sand we're keeping in here. I made some more iron plates with what I had left. Let's put those in there and do we have enough to make the next one of these? Yes, we do. How many can we make? Just one. And now we're gonna need to make some rebars, which we'll do once we get some more of the... What's the matter with me? Well, I guess I'm thirsty. Probably from the steroid. And we could actually stand to eat too, so let's have a hobo stew. 
Fantastic. All right, Roberto, where'd you go? Uh, where's she? Where's she at? She, oh, she's stuck over that way somehow. Some somehow some way. Figured that'd be far enough away for her to teleport back to us, though. Oh, here she comes. Okay. Come on, girl. Let's get you unloaded. Okay, so we have a little more copper ore and another big old batch of iron ore, which we will promptly turn into ingots. All right, so we need about nine, ten-ish minutes of burn time, and that should be pretty close right there. Stone's going there. All right, now uh, we need to we need to make some hay bales. We could actually go just pick hay bales up. There's tons of them around. Uh, yeah, maybe let's do that. We'll we'll maybe have a little uh, mini adventure uh, in some POIs in the process. Is, where is my motorcycle at? Going. Oh yeah, it's down down here. Okay. So yeah, let's just go grab a whole bunch of hay bales because I want to, like I said, uh, start working on our our bale drop. Get out of here, ball sack. After, we are not alone. Yeah, I noticed. All right, so we just need to find some fields with some hay in it. Uh, we want the square ones, not the round ones. Probably already looted most of the ones real close to the base here. Well, you know, we could maybe try the round ones, I guess. There's quite a bit of surface area on them. Well, let's grab, let's grab some and, you know, we'll decide. Ooh, look what's right there. Right there. Back up, Roberta. Seriously? There we go. Oh, we got Copper Ruski over here. Hey, he dropped a bag for us. Nice. Ooh, okay. None of that stuff sucks. All right, yeah, so we'll let's just pick up a combination of round and square bales, and then we'll see what's going to work best. Thought I saw a hub, hub cap landmine right where I was stepping there. The round ones could work fine if we put them, like, in the corner. Uh, Okay. Kind of crap revolver, but we'll take it. There's a zomba doodle over there. Come here, Marlene. I've got a bad feeling about this. She has a worse feeling. Actually, she probably doesn't feel anything at all now. Hey, we got two skill points to spin. I'll have to look at that. I don't even know where what we're currently working on. Totally lost track. Get the cement. 
Uh, let's see what's in here. Construction box with some nails. All right. All that for five pieces of cloth? Seriously? <laughs> oh, boy. Ooh, that's nice. Lead ingot. That's nice, too, actually. The military fiber. Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, okay, that's probably enough bales to do what we need to do. So let's uh, head on back to the Dishong. And uh, the next thing I need to do is I need to figure out how far we can drop before we start taking damage. And having a broken broken leg isn't really going to help with that so much. Uh, well, it's only got how much more? About three minutes left, so I'll probably wait until it's healed up before we actually make the first drop. But we can st start getting ready for it anyway. Okay, so probably it makes the most sense, I'm thinking, to have the drop in maybe this corner. Either, either any way you slice it, we're going to have to cut one of those cars out. Um, well, unless we put the drop on this side. That could... That could actually work because there's nothing blocking it other than those light thingies. Can we get to those from here? Oh, we can. We're still going to need some clearance, though. I wonder if we could get all the way beyond the last car with one drop and then we could offset the second part of the drop hmm i don't know well here let's get uh the rest of these out of the way That's still a pretty long drop. Okay, let's go up to the next spot. Yeah, there's no way we can do a single drop all the way to the elevator cars without taking damage. So we're going to have to come up with a plan B here. Uh, it just occurred to me, Doc, on it. I could have probably picked those lights up and reset them later why was I able to get to that the first time and now I can't get to it let's go back down the ladder a little bit I mean I can there we go I can step out a little bit but that's pretty darn risky we don't want to step out too much okay so um let's go ahead and try Let's see if we can drop down from there and down to this story here. We might be able to get away with that without getting hurt. So we're going to grab um, some hay. I'm not sure which bale is going to work better for this. Uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, two, we're going to have, I think we're going to have to bust out the, the cables. That doesn't quite go right in the center either. Oh, okay. That isn't going to work. We could test the drop 
here. Oh, okay, hold on. Is it then maybe this isn't gonna work the way I thought it was. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to okay, we're gonna have to build a platform to put these on. Interesting. Okay, we can do that. We can do that. Where are my where's my blocks? Where are my frames? Do I not have any frames on me? I don't think I have any frames on me. Oh, for Pete's sake. Really? Um crap. Okay, here, let's do this. I don't want to go back and make a bunch of frames yet. So let's just grab those two frames and those frames there for now. Okay, so I think it was this this story. Yeah, because I remember that ladder piece being there. All right, now what we're going to have to do then is to test the drop level. Let's put in a couple of frames here. And then we should be able to put that on top of there. Okay. So again, what we're doing here is we're testing to see how far we can drop without taking damage. All right, here we go. We can drop that far down without taking damage. So that's one, two, three, four stories down. Okay, let's try five stories down. We'll go down to here. I know at some point we're going to reach a, a limit as to how far we can drop without taking damage. So we just have to figure out what that limit is. All right, here we go. That didn't hurt. Okay, so we can go that far down. Let's go another story. Um, oh, you know what? I don't think we can put that there because, wait, why can't we put that there? We should be able to. Is it because Roberta's in the way? Yeah, maybe that's what it is. Okay, come down here, Roberta. Yeah, I'll bet you it's because she was in the way. Okay. Let's go all the way back up the top and try this again, see what happens. Okay, that hurt. That hurt. Um, it didn't hurt a lot, but it hurt enough. So I think... What we should do then is make the drop up on this story. The first drop, go to that story. Okay. So let's put you in there and yeah we're gonna we're, we're, we're just gonna have to go get more frames that's all there is to it to finish this out and i'll actually upgrade those frames too so that you know they're a lot stronger because after all they are saving us from falling and taking damage let's test this one more time
Yeah, no, no damage there. Okay, so the next step then is, yeah, I got to go make some more frames, and we can also, uh, we should also be able to bring back some of our storage containers uh, and maybe even make the other two. So let's get that done, and then we'll come back and keep working on this. Okay, so we need to make, we need a total of 10 iron rebars to make two more of the storages. So let's make those first, uh, which means we need to make seven more. And then we're going to also need to make some more uh, platings too. So it looks like another, well, here, we'll, actually, maybe we will have enough. And I'm thirsty again, so let's drink some mineral water and a red tea and a hobo stew. Drop off some of this extra stuff that we have. You and you and you can be scrapped. That stuff in there, put this in here. I'm just gonna throw all of this in the the selling bin. Actually, is this ice picker a uh, breaker rather pick better than this steel? It is not. I think I've compared those before and they weren't better. sort here. Okay, the rest of that stuff will go upstairs. Um, so we got the rebar. Okay, so can we make two more of these? We can make one more. Now we need to make some nuts and bolts, which I think we do that in here too. Yeah. And that requires uh, also ingots. How many do we get? We get five per. Okay. Let's make 10. So we get 50 of those. That's the first time I've had to actually make those in this playthrough. Because usually you just loot them all over the place. And now we can make the final one of those. So I'm just going to start with four of these since they have so much storage space. And then, you know, later on, we'll we'll totally get organized. Like, I mean, totally. Totally. Oh, we got to start some frame action, don't we? Wood frames. How many of those can I make? 28. Uh, looks like nails are our stopping point, which... We can make some more nails pretty easily as well. That also requires iron ingots, and we get 20 per, so let's make... Yeah, let's make 50 of those and... Or, no, not 50. Let's make 20 of those, and we should get 400. That's good. Great. Okay, so that gives us our four storage units to take back there. Um, I'm going to want some wood. Uh, and actually, well, no, I think I just need wood to upgrade those platforms to wood. And then we should probably also upgrade them to cobblestone. Which do I have? Oh! Oh, you know what? I've got these. Let's use these. Those are already put together. Oh, there's our frames. Okay. I must I accidentally put them in there. Um, in fact, let's take the concrete too, because then we can upgrade the platforms to concrete, and that way they're nice and secure for us. Uh, which means we don't actually need the wooden planks after all. So put those back in there. Hopefully 17 of those is enough. Maybe we should make a few more just to be sure. 
We'll make three more, and that way we have an even 20. You can go in there, you can go in there, you can go in there. <clears throat> Alrighty then. Think we have everything we need. We don't need to be carrying the hammer around with us because we have a a nail gun. And yeah, I guess we'll keep the gas with us in case we do decide to use the chainsaw some more. Let's head on back. It's almost nighttime. The day's gotten away from us. Of course, it wasn't early morning when I started the episode. It was like mid, late morning, something like that. Oops. Okay, so let's get back to this. Just want to figure out how best to get this all done. So the first thing we're going to do is replace the wood blocks with these blocks. What? Why did that fall? It should have stayed up on the other end. I don't know why. And actually, you know what, too? No. Oh, well, it's too late now. I was going to make them a little thinner, but it doesn't matter. Blech. I think I like the square bales better. It's just a tiny bit more surface area for us to jump on. Okay, so... Now, I'm trying to decide how we want to jump next. We're probably, let's get back on top of that platform. I want it to be really quick, you know, so we just jump, 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 and we're down and not have to think too hard about it. So we jump there, and then we could just drop down this corner and put the bales on top of the car. Except for that, well, we're dropping down one, two, three, four, five stories. Two, three, we could go further if we cut through the car. We might, if we're going to drop through that side, we probably need to cut this out of the way too. Or we might land on it and break our leg. Okay, so let's see. One, two, three. So this car is just right below the third story down. So what we have to do is... Oh no, this is 10,000 hit points. Crap. All right, well, shoot. If that's the case, what's this? That's 10,000 too. I mean, I, I could cut through it but eh, you know what though we can we should be able to get to the to the ground from here so let's just let's just go ahead and put the bales here um except all except for the blocks are pointing the wrong direction man okay well I'm going to cut these out, at least the top ones.
Okay, I busted through the top one and then realized we still have this 10,000 hit point thing there too. So that's just way going to take too long. So what we're going to do for now is we're going to... Uh, I don't... Oh man, is this going to let me do this? It isn't. Game? Uh-oh. Ouch! <laughs> that wasn't what I wanted to do. Crap. I didn't even know those guys were down there. Okay. We have an abrasion and a broken leg. That is just fun. <sighs> Mother. Okay. So, yeah, this is really starting to become a major pain in the butt. Uh, I guess what we're going to have... Well, okay, if I... I know what I'm going to do. If I bust out this one, then I can put these blocks on top of here and then put the hay bales on top of that. That's what we'll do. Okay. So I might um, do change this up and make it a little better later when I can get the Valkyrie drill repaired. Uh, but for now, this is just going to have to do. So let's put that there. And now what we should be able to do is drop off of this one. Yeah, I know. This is going to hurt too, but I, I can't do nothing about it right now. It's just the way it is. It's just the way it is. Okay, so we basically do this. And again, that, the only reason that hurt is because I've got a sprained leg. And then just drop here. Okay, that works reasonably well. And then for the final drop, uh, I don't really want it there because that's the doorway out. Um, didn't mean to do that. What? Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it. Ugh. I'm just beating the tar out of myself. Okay, anyway, um, so where should we do that final drop? We could do it over up against this wall if it's as long as we step out far enough. Um, Incoming enemy. Prepare for and we we need to keep keep it up high enough to where the Zeeks don't bang on it. So I don't know. I'm thinking here. Let's get over here on this. That's three three blocks high, so the zombos shouldn't mess with it. That's the theory anyways. And what we could even do is this. If we go here and make these the plates. Uh, brick catwalk plate. Right, yeah. But we need to turn it around. Perhaps if we go Oh shit! How did you get up here? How the heck did she get up here? Oh, I bet you they climbed up on each other's shoulders. Yeah, I'm going to have to I'm going to have to secure that whole situation a little bit better too. Have they? Yeah, well, we, we got, there's a lot of work that we got to do on this place, but you know, one thing at a time, right? One thing at a time. Okay, so anyway, what I want to do is 
if we do an on face, no, that's not quite what we're after. We, we're going to have to do an advanced rotation. And we want it to be... One, two... Yeah, we want it to be here. That's... Yeah, that's three blocks up. Exactly. Okay. Um, and then get there, 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 and there. Okay. And then we just put the bales here. Okay. Let's test. Let's test our system here. We know the the drop from the first one to the second one works fine. So. So then all we have to really do is just kind of run forward there and we're good. And then jump down and go on our merry way. Yeah, we gotta, we're gonna have to deal with this situation here. Um, what are we talking about? That's 5,000 hit point. All of this is 5,000. Okay. Well, that's pro that's that needs to be an off-camera thing that I'll deal with later. Okay, so we're making progress. We are making progress, people. I like our drop here. What's this? That's 10,000. Um, in fact, I think all of this is 10,000. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to leave that there for now. Uh, let's go all the way up to the top and get our chest in place, our storage chest. And then I think the next step is we need to start moving our stuff over. Now tomorrow, or I guess I should say tonight, is Horde Night. It's 77. I'd like to have all of my stuff moved out of our original base and over to the to the Deshong here. And then, you know what else we're going to do too? I'm going to put in these here. And I'd like... Um, let's see. What do I want to do here? I want to make sure that I don't go too far the other direction on accident. So why don't we put... that there so that way we don't accidentally overshoot the ladder and I also would like to have here let's go back to those plates I have such a hard time finding that stuff nowadays plates that's not the right kind of plate this is the right kind of plate Okay, so let's, uh, what if we do an on face? Yep, that's exactly what I want. So put that there and copy rotation that there. Uh, Roberta, you're in the way. Come on over here, girl. Okay, so now this way, you know, when I'm coming off the ladder, I don't accidentally back up too far that way. Um, and we probably should also put like a little rail here too, because we don't really want to go off anywhere other than this side here. That one's actually probably not necessary, but we'll leave it there for now. Okay, so now for our storage solution, I think what we're going to do is, you know, honestly, I kind of like that couch there. So maybe what we do is we just put all of the storage up against this wall. And again, this is all temporary. This is just to get us up here, get us moved until we do our ultimate arrangement of things. Okay, so we have 128 times 4 is 480, 90, 300, and, I don't know, 500, 500 and some odd slots. <laughs> uh, here, I'll do it this way. I'll use the calculator. 
128 times 4 is... Hold on. What? No. 128 times 4 is 512. All right. Nice. That's lots of storage. Um, so we're going to kind of have to consolidate um, on in terms of what we're going to put where. So why don't we do this? We're going to make this one food, meds, seeds. Kim's. Okay. So that's that one. This is going to be... Raw materials. Building. Raw materials. A uh, building... And or ores and metals. Okay, we'll we'll start with that. Oh, I don't like how that goes past the end of the sign. It doesn't actually wrap. So what we got to do to fix that is this. This one is just barely going over the edge, too. Okay. Um, this one is going to be... Parts... Ammo... Fuel. Actually, instead of fuel, let's just go explosive. Because we'll have gunpowder and like oil and stuff like that in there. And then this one is going to be weapons and tools. There, weapons, tools, mods. And, yeah, and we'll put weapon and tool parts in there, too, whereas these parts are, like, the general parts that we get when we wrench cars and stuff. Okay, we'll start with that. You know, we can always change things up as needed. And, again, this is also a temporary scenario here. All right, you guys. Well, uh, the next step is to start hauling stuff up here. Now, what I'm going to try and do for Horde Night is if I have enough steel to upgrade the, the critical blocks up at the top of our place there. Um, in fact, here, let's go Let's go look at it. We're going to take a little bit of damage doing our drop, but it, it just is what it is. My sensors have picked up something. My sensors have picked up a dire wolf. I'm at this rate this leg's never going to heal. <laughs> um so let me let me tell you what I have in mind for Horde Night. I want to try this design and see if uh, if we can make a good go at it, uh, it's very, very effective at killing, you know, the, the smaller hordes that come in. But the question is, can it hold up to an entire Horde Knight 77 um, on our settings in the Wasteland on Undead Legacy? <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Uh, I'm going to need lots of ammo. And, you know, I'm going to need to be able to repair stuff. But if we can get this concrete upgraded, you know, to steel... I have enough resources to do that. We might be able to make our stand here. Now, if it turns out that it's not going to work, you know, then we can retreat. We can attempt to retreat 
uh, to our fallback location that's inside of that building there that we've never actually had to use. And we also have the option of the garage, you know, going back to the garage, uh, which we know works. Um, so it might be a situation, you know, the, the, the thing that makes that tricky is, you know, me being able to get over to those locations without getting killed. Because really, it's designed for us to start at the garage, and if that fails, come to the fallback location there. And if that fails, then come to this fallback location. But I don't really have it set up to go the other direction. So, yeah, I, I don't know. But I'm really curious to see how well this design does. Because if it, if it works really well, then we might do some variation of this or maybe even keep this and, you know, just improve it as time goes on. So that's my tentative plan. It kind of depends upon how much I can get done because I definitely want to get all of our stuff moved over to Deshong. Um, before we do that. So that way, you know, if our place does get breached, you know, our stuff is safe. So I'm going to probably work on that uh, mostly off camera, uh, but we'll see how things go. Uh, or maybe I'll do it on camera. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but nevertheless, we need to end this episode. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment to share the video, and we will catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.